In this video, I'll show you how to create a multiple page glossary slide in your Adobe Captivate course. Okay, here's the situation. I've often used a glossary slide. Often I'll put it on slide number two, and from slide number one, we'll skip past it for the time being, but provide a way for learners to jump to slide number two where that glossary resides from anywhere in the course. Then we can return the learner to where they left off in the course by using the action, go to the last slide visited. Unfortunately, I've run into a situation where we have a multiple page glossary and obviously this doesn't work. So I've come up with this solution here that I'll share with you today. What we need to do is we need to write a couple of small advanced actions and we need to have a variable to keep track of where we left off in our project. So first thing I'm going to do is click on project and go to variables and we're going to create our own tracking variable called underscore bookmark. So I'm just going to type that in right now. Hit save and we can go ahead and close the variables window. Next, we need to create an advanced action that's going to keep track of where we were currently located in the course so that we can return there later. So I'm gonna click on project and go into advanced actions. And I'm gonna call this advanced action bookmark underscore glossary. I simply wish to assign the variable I just created, bookmark, with another variable, in this case a system variable, CP info current slide. And as part of this advanced action, I'm going to jump to the slide in question, which is the first of my two glossary slides, it happens to be slide two. So we're going to jump to slide two. We'll save this as an action and click OK. While we're here, we'll create our second advanced action we'll need, and this will allow us to return to where we left off in the course. So I'm going to click on the plus icon to create a new action. And in this case here, we're going to call this return to bookmark. We're going to use the expression command and we're going to say expression bookmark is equal to bookmark minus one. And the reason we do this is the way that the current slide numbering works in Adobe Captivate. It's a little bit different than you'd expect. And now we're going to assign CP command go to slide with our variable bookmark. So I can save this as an action, click OK, and click close. Now, starting with my title slide, I'm going to change my begin button to jump to slide four in this case. So it's bypassing the slides that I've reserved for my glossary slides so that they're not part of the normal navigation of this course. So we'll jump to slide number four and we'll go to slide number four and select the icon that I'm gonna use for the jump to glossary button. In this case here, we're going to execute advanced actions and we're going to use the bookmark glossary advanced action that we've created here. Now we're going to go to slide two, which is going to be the first of my two glossary slides. And we're going to select this return icon here, and we're going to execute advanced actions. And in this case here, we're going to go with return to bookmark and our page down icon is simply going to go to the next slide. Here's glossary slide number two, which happens to be slide three. The page up icon will simply be go to previous slide, glossary slide number one. 
And similarly, we're going to also select Execute Advanced Actions for our Return to Bookmark item here. And that will run perfectly at this point. So this icon here is displayed for the rest of the project. So you can jump to the glossary from any slide within your course. Let's do a quick preview and see how this works. So here we are. We're going to start with the begin, which will jump past the glossary and go to my course content number one. And of course, I can start going through the course and at any time that I wish, I'm currently on course content three. If I click on the glossary slide, it brings me to glossary slide number one and I can go down to glossary slide number two, back to slide one, slide two, and at any point click on this return to the rest of the course icon and it brings me back to where I started, course content number three. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific need. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.